So hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, something a bit different for me today. Um, something I thought I would do. Um, now I feel like I've done one of these a long, long time ago, probably towards the start of when I started this channel. Um, and since then, um, a lot of the products that I use have changed. Some are still the same because I really love them, um, but a lot of products have changed. So I just thought I would do an updated everyday makeup routine this is a long title for 40 plus there you go um also as well because i now a long long way i now have a stall for my dressing table it finally came so i can sit here and do my makeup which just makes it a lot easier to film the natural light etc um so today is saturday um the reason i'm doing it today is because i will normally do my makeup very early um in the weekdays um obviously i get up very early for the school run etc um and it is dark at the moment when i'm doing my makeup which wouldn't be great for filming um and it is quite a rush in the week um whereas saturday this morning it's more laid back i think it's about 11 o'clock um lovely the sun was out it's gone in but it's nice um i've got the window open because i've just had a shower um and it gets quite warm after i've had a shower i get quite warm um so yeah i am ready to sit down and do my everyday makeup so this is this is going to be like i guess quite minimal makeup but it's what i wear on the daily um nothing too nothing too bright just my everyday makeup that makes me feel that bit more um confident um just better really ready to face the day etc so i've had a shower and i thought i'll show you the products that i've used to prep um my skin basically so in the shower i have started using this in the morning so i'll use the normal um cleanse and polish at night but i've started using this on um the recommendation from some lovely ladies in um the boots in milton Keynes. um i went in to have a browse i needed to stock up on my cleanse and polish and um they recommended this um so i use this one in the morning it is the lizelle cleanse and glow um transforming gel cleanser so i will it goes from a gel to let me get this right i don't want to say it wrong it goes from a gel to like a cream then it washes off like a milk type consistency so i have used that on my face this morning in the shower then next i have used this which combined with this it's the same type of um range it's the smooth and glow exfoliating tonic obviously i'm still using the normal uh, tonic boost at night but i've been using this in the morning and so far um at the moment my skin is not at its best um number one i am due on time of the month yes still happens uh, <laughs> um it's just not at its best at the moment, but I think that happens to um, a lot of us. So I'll try to use different things, you know, see, see, you know, if anything makes any difference. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but it's just probably not at its best at the moment. But we move. We have more important things to worry about. So I've been using these. And then after this... Now, I've been using this for quite a while, and this really suits me. I've been using this for a long, long while. Um, in the mornings, it's the Hydra Genius Alloy Water. It's like a serum and a um, moisturiser in one. So, I'll put this all over my face to prep for my makeup. And then, last of all, it is the um, Estee Lauder Idealist pore minimizing skin refresher and i really think it does help to minimize the appearance of pores so that's the last thing i will put on before i begin my makeup so i have prepped my skin with all of that then also before i begin my makeup i always put some lip balm on i cannot begin my day without any lip balm on my lips get very dry um and today i have used the body shop um sheer lip butter so everything is prepped okay so first it will be foundation um and i am using today pretty much every morning is the l'oreal infallible um fresh wear 32 hour i cannot rave about this foundation 
enough. Now, I have tried other foundations. Um, I even have tried the Cult Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, which, believe me, I will use. I will use up because it's quite spenny. Um, but I prefer this. I prefer the consistency of this. I prefer the application of this. This is quite thick. Um, someone did comment in one of my videos, this makes them feel like they're wearing a mask, and I would agree with that, whereas this doesn't. This doesn't feel like you've got hardly anything on your skin. It's so light, but good coverage. But this does feel very mask-like. But I will use this. I will probably use this more um, at night. Um, uh, special occasions, if I'm going out somewhere. Um, so I will definitely use that. But for everyday wear, I absolutely love this. And I buy the shade at the moment. Um, because I haven't started fake tanning yet um, for the spring summer. When I do, I probably will move on to something slightly darker. But at the moment, I've used the shade two two five i cannot it's very inexpensive i think it's about 10 pounds um i've used it for a long long time and the consistency is just and the application which you will see so what i use to apply that foundation is a blender um this is a real techniques one it came with um a case which is really handy for going away etc and what i will do i will always um dampen this sponge um I'll, I'll try if i remember i will dampen it the night before um because i find if it's too wet it makes a different it too much i don't want it too wet but i want it like slightly damp so i'll always try and wet that the night before and i keep that in a little dish like that in um the ensuite so i'm going to apply my foundation so i will always hair back out the way so this is about how much i will use on the daily sometimes a bit more to be honest sometimes a bit less but as you could see i hope the camera can pick it up anyway um consistency is just really really good and you know what just so easy to apply um so i get that and then i will apply the foundation And obviously make sure it's all blended in um, at the sides as much as possible. All at the corners. As you can see, it's just it's just so easy to apply. Honestly, it's just like a no-brainer. It's amazing. I can't imagine um, using anything else, to be honest. Um, like I said, I did try the double wear, but I got sucked in by the hype, I think. But honestly, sometimes it's just better to stick with what you know. And um, rub it into the neck, which I do tend to do with my hands. To be honest. So the top station is done. As you can see, it's a really, um, it's a great coverage. So I'll just pop that back in there, back in the ensuite, and then I will dampen that. Um, I'm not going to be wearing makeup tomorrow, it's Sunday. Um, but obviously I will dampen that um, tomorrow night ready for Monday morning. That's just how I do things. So that is done. Um, can't recommend that enough. Um, especially if you have like an older skin, um, it really it really works well, I think, as my skin is aging. Right, next, concealer. So I love this concealer. It's very creamy, um, which I like. I've tried, again, a lot of concealers. Some of them are very cloggy. Some of them are very dry. They don't blend well. This I really, really like. Um, it is the L'Oreal true match and i have this in shade n hold on no shade 4n shade 4n um so i will always put some on i mean obviously i'm doing this quite a bit slower than i would normally do in the week um but obviously i'm chatting away and everything else but normally it'll be a lot speedier than this so i'll dab this and uh, the eyes and i will do this with my fingers um I know a lot of people don't, but this is just what I do. This is how I do it. I find it blends well like that. If there's too much product, I'll just take it off, put it on the tissue. Um, you know, I do suffer with under eye shadows. That's just something that has got worse as I've got older. But um, I find this foundation works well. I think you just want things as you get older. You just want things that are easy to apply. Um, and 
perform well also so so when I is done I don't use too much not too much at all So concealer is done. Um, next is powder. Slight dusting of powder. I use the Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I've got this in the shade 220. 220. Um, and I will use this brush and I will just lightly sweep it on the back of my hand and just lightly dust over the areas that get um, quite oily throughout the day. So obviously the T zone, which I think a lot of people get um, down the nose. I don't like to put too much, but, and then on the chin also. Um, and then when I finish my makeup, I will apply a little bit more just to like blend it all in. So that's the powder. So eyeshadow next. Um, I've got quite a few palettes here. I tend to, but I always tend to um, go back to this. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Exaggerize. Really nice. Um, natural shades um i've been using this a lot in the daytime so i'm going to put this one all over um my lid first and then i'm going to put it's a very light brown into the corners really lovely daytime natural shades and i will do the white my well, white okay. and the one all over my lid i'll just do with my finger because that just works better for me um, and I find this colour does really help to brighten the eyes up as well. Um, but then when I do the colour in the crease, I'll use the brush. I think you just got to do what works for you. Um, make sure that's all blended in. It really does brighten my eyes up. Before I put the colour into the creases, I always do my eyebrows first. Um, so eyebrows I use and have used for a long, long time. Um, it just works best for me and my brows. I use the Maybelline Tattoo Brow in um, medium. This is really good and I'll tell you what, it lasts so, so long. Um, obviously, I have a sparse, sparse brows and um, this just works really well for me um, to fill them in brush them through um, it gives quite a more of a natural finish I think um, than other products I've used in the past so it's that type of consistency and it just lasts so so long so I'm gonna do my brows So brows are done. I've gone for a very light, um, not too thick brow today because it's Saturday. <laughs> it's Saturday. Um, right, so yeah, brows are done. So next, colour in um, the corner of my eyes. So I am going to go for, as I said, this brown here. Just using one of my eyeshadow brushes, um, not too much. And then put it over here and then blend into... corner and across this is just how I do it nice and natural Okay, shadow is done and now eyeliner now this is the best um, liner that I have ever used I got this in New York 
I showed it in my New York haul, I think. I got it from Sephora, um, but I will repurchase this. It's so good. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick. I absolutely love this. Um, I love the fact it really does give a thin line. Um, so many that I've used, um, it doesn't give the same line on each eye, if that makes sense. Um, it can go thick or it can go, but this, this is perfect to use. Um, it's really easy to apply and it just gives a lovely thin line, which is what I want. So totally recommend this, the Feline Flick by Charlotte Tilbury. And it seems to be lasting quite well also. So I'm just gonna put this across my lash line. As you can see, to me, that gives a really good line compared to some that I have used in the past. It's worth the investment. I think it's about 20, 22 pounds, something like that, but it is, I love it, I love it. And like I said, I will be um, repurchasing. It's just so easy. It's just so easy to apply. That's it, so quick, so easy. Um, so that is done. And next, what I always do in the line of my, my waterline, I will always apply, um, not a white, but it's like a natural colour pencil. I think this is a Rimmel one. Um, and it just brightens the eyes up. Um, it's something I've always done. Um, so I just put that on here like this. Dex Mascara. Um, every day I've been using this one. It gives a nice, like, natural look. Really nice. It is the Lancome um, Lash Idol. Idol. Looks like that. Got this just Sephora in New York also. And I would be purchased this, actually. Um, I like the shape of the... Really takes the lashes up. So... I do it. This is how I apply it. Um, just take it up like that. Not too much, it doesn't clump. And I'll just take them ones out. It's a really nice mascara, really good, as you can see. Um, nine times out of ten, to be honest, in the day I will just use, um, since I've been using this anyway, I will just use um, one layer. Um, just depends on how I feel sometimes. I'll put two on. Um, but today I am doing like an everyday sort of natural look so I am just gonna use the one like I normally do it's really easy to apply again all the products that I'm using I'll just totally recommend um, and I think that you know the proof's in the product if you want to repurchase them isn't it um, so eyes are done next Bronzer. Um, I'm very loyal to this bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. Again, it is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it is, I get it in the medium. It is the Airbrush bronzer. I think this is probably about the third, third one I've purchased. I absolutely love it. It's just, again, so easy to apply. Um, I think I've said that so many times. Every product I'm using is so easy to apply and that's the point. That's what I want. When I'm putting my makeup on at like half past five, six in the morning, I want stuff that's easy to apply, um, blends well, etc. And every product that I'm using works for me and that is the point. Um, so yeah, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in medium and I use this brush, I use this bronzing brush. Um, don't go too heavy, so I'll put some product on, blow it, put a bit on my hand, and then I will start off round here, so around the top of the forehead. And then with the same amount what I've got on, I will do my nose. So I won't put any extra on for the nose and just take that down. I mean, obviously in the summer, I will wear a bit more. Um, if I've got a fake tan on, whatever, then I just do it around here and then take it down into the neck. And then I just try to do like the number three. So one, two, three, around here, like that. So I've always done it. The other side. Okay, 
comes out to the bodzer. Not too much at all, but like I say, I will put more on um, in the spring summer when I have started to fake tan, which I haven't yet, but I will soon. <laughs> um, blusher. Um, so I've been using it recently, and I like the I like the colour payoff this gives. Um, normally, I will use the NARS Orgasm, um, but I've been converted um, to cream. I know when we were in um, New York, um, I noticed um, Anastasia's blusher, and I thought, oh, what blusher have you got? And she said, oh, it's a cream one. I started using cream ones, and it, she said they last a lot longer. So I thought, well, I'm going to try a cream one, because I know with the NARS Orgasm, it doesn't it doesn't really last as long as it probably should for how much it is. I picked up this one. Um, I'm guessing it's Morphe with the Emma. I can't remember. I got this from ASOS, um, and it's in the shade Notoriously Neutral. Um, now, if I show you what it looks like inside, you're probably going to think, God, that's so bright, but actually, once you've blended it in and on your skin it's not at all it's a really pretty color um it's a cream one and it's working well for me and the color seems to last so much longer than the powder it just gives a nice flush of color on the cheek so i am gonna use this um i use this with um this brush dense cheek brush um so I will start applying this. So I just put this on, um, really, really blend it. It does probably require, I would say, more blending than a powder, but that's fine. Um, it gives a good payoff. It gives a good colour payoff. So the only thing I will say is you need to be careful with how much product you use. Um, you don't want to go too, too much. Um, so start off around here. Require a fair bit of blending, um, I'm not going to lie. But it... To get it to that, um, how you want it to look. You don't want it too much, but you want the colour payoff as well. Just a nice flush of colour, so I tend to just really blend it <laughs> um, onto my cheeks. Take it up there, around here. It's a really nice natural. Can you see? See the colour? Uh, just think, be careful with cream blushes, how much product you actually use, because it can be hard to blend if you use too much. Um, but this is a really nice pretty colour. So it's notoriously neutral by, um, I'm sure it's Morphe. So that's one cheek done. And then the next. The blusher is done. And now, I will put below in the description box um, all the products that I have used um, to make it that bit easier to find. So I'm going to use today a new matte lipstick. This is the first time I have tried this lipstick. I'm using this on camera. I actually only got this yesterday. I got this at St Pancras yesterday. Um, it is Hug Me. I needed a new like natural colour. new natural colour. I don't like matte. I just don't do matte. It doesn't work with me at all. Um, I wanted like a sheen colour. So I went to the, is it the Lust? The, like the lush sheen range in there um and i got hug me which is like a natural brown nudie color so i thought i'll try this out on camera today so here we go i love that <laughs> i love it Feels nice, nice and soft, not matte at all. Really like the colour, really like the colour of that. That is going to be my everyday lipstick for quite a while, I think. We'll see how long it lasts, colour payoff, etc. But um, yeah, like that, like that colour very much. So that is Hug Me by MAC. Um, and what I will do then at the end um, is get my powder again um, get my powder brush and I will just basically go over just to blend everything in so I blend the blusher the bronzer just very quickly it's here I get the most shine just around here And that is my everyday makeup. Short, simple, 
works for me. <laughs> Um, which is the most important thing I really love. I absolutely love the colour of that MAC lipstick. That is just so me. Absolutely love that. So, I hope you've enjoyed. I just thought it would be interesting to do. All the products I will put in the description box below. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you soon for another video.